Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make squ fried squash patties, probably like you have never had before. But this is my squash here in the bowl, and guess what? It came out of a can. Now I opened the can and drained the liquid off. And when you think all the liquid's gone, it's not. Set the can down for 10 or 20 seconds and then drain it again and all of it will be it'll be drained pretty well. So I'm going to take the squash and this had Vidalia onions in it if you can see. When I first started making this recipe all you got was canned squash. There was no onions or anything. Otherwise I would have had to add onions. But anyway you take the squash, put it in a bowl and you mash it up a bit like that. It doesn't have to be perfectly minced. Just, you know, mash it till it gets to a good consistency. Then you're going to add a little bit of salt. Not much. A little bit of salt. I'll put some in my hand here. Can you see that? Nope. Alright, here we go. Just a little bit. A little bit of salt, a little pepper. I like pepper, so I'll probably add more of that. I'm going to stir that in to combine it a little bit. That bowl kind of, when I stir, or maybe it's me. It kind of eases out of the picture frame. Now this is um, one quarter of a cup of flour going in there. This is all purpose. I have used uh, self-rising. I don't think it matters much. This is a quarter of a cup of cornmeal. And because you all know I use Martha White buttermilk self-rising cornmeal. That's what this is, because that's all I have, and it doesn't really matter. That's all I want to use. So, I'm combining that somewhat. Then, I'm going to add an egg. And this is all that's going in this. Got the egg. I'm going to break the yolk and mix it up in here. These are going to make really good squash patties. Don't have to wait for summer squash to <clears throat> get ripe and come out. I wouldn't say this is the best way. You know, fresh is always better, but these are really good little patties and you're going to love them. So here we go getting this all mixed in and you see it looks like a batter because by now it has become a batter. All right. Now, let me I'm going to cut you off a minute and move my camera. All right. Here's my squash right here in the bowl next to the stove. I'm going to move the camera so you can see my um, my pan. There it is. And we're going to put this squash. I've got two teaspoons, one large one, like a serving spoon, and then one, a regular spoon. And I just take the serving spoon like this, and I drop it into this oil. I've got about a quarter of a cup of oil in here. Maybe a tiny bit more than I needed, I think. You just drop them in. Wipe out your spoon with the other spoon. My burners run hot for some reason. So, you know, I, I've got this on three. And this pan is smoking. Ouch. Don't get splattered. This makes more than you think it will. There we go. 
Now over to the side, I've got a plate with some um, a paper towel in it. So if there's any excess grease, hopefully that'll take care of it. So, I don't know, did I tell you this is canola oil? But you can use any type of oil you want to. I'm just using canola because that's what I use. All right, you see I'm trying to brown. This is the first one I put in right here. And I can see that one side is brown. So, I'm going to turn it over. Look how great that looks. Maybe I'll just start turning them all over. Okay. There we go. We're going around the pan here. See, they, they cook rather quickly. And the, the uh, squash is already cooked in the can. So, uh, so it's not as if you're trying to cook the squash. The squash is already cooked. But you want the cornmeal and flour to... Uh, get done and that you put inside. So we're going to let them cook just a bit here. Got a little spot of my mixture right here. You're going to be surprised how good these are. They're very good. They're good in a hurry. They're good if you're having a vegetable plate or um, a meat and a carb and you need a vegetable to go with it. They're fast. I don't have to go to my freezer and get some uncooked squash that I put in there and cook it and then mince it up or mash it up and then cook it. I don't have to do that because I got it out of a can. Just make sure that you uh, drain that can good. You don't have to rinse the squash. Let's peek under here. I think these are done. Putting them over here on the plate. Can you see the plate? Yes, you can. You zoom in a little. I might zoom you right out of the picture. my plate. Get the rest out before I burn them. Alright, I'm going to finish these up because I have some more in my bowl that I haven't cooked yet and I'll be back with you when I get through. Alright, the squash patties are done. Out of that can, I made 11. But some of them are bigger than others, so you could probably get a dozen out of this, which is plenty to feed a family of four if you needed a side dish. So I'm going to get one of them, as my, I usually do. And I'm going to give it a taste test. And we'll see how they taste. Now you, you know, I didn't, I didn't add anything, but you saw what I added. If you wanted to add other things to this to make it more to your liking, you're perfectly welcome to do that. This is the basic recipe, which to me, I love the basics. Some people just overdo everything. They put so much stuff in there you, that you don't know what the dish was intended to be. Because they've added so much stuff. But... In my opinion, in my humble opinion, when you stick to the basics and you keep things simple, you have a better dish. Most times. So let's give this a taste. They're wonderful. Oh my God, they're wonderful. You're going to love it. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. And until next time, you take care.